What is pain? The first explanation of pain was given by Siddhartha Gautama, a prince who renounced power. In his Buddhist worldview, pain is the foundation of life. The four sufferings, birth, aging, sickness, and death, all arise from the mind's obsession and illusion about the world. Over 2,000 years ago, he already said that pain is actually an illusion. It is our brain's perception of external and internal signals. Even the happiness is destined to turn into pain because it cannot last forever. The moment of loss, pain follows like a shadow. The development of modern neuroscience has gradually confirmed this ancient insight. Initially, we thought pain was just a simple signal line. In 1846, when dentist William Morton used a sponge soaked in ether to put his patient to sleep, surgeon John Warren successfully removed the tumor. The advent of anesthesia seemed to prove that pain was just a signal line from the body to the brain, which could be easily blocked like cutting an electrical wire. Yet a more unsettling puzzle soon surfaced. After the American Civil War, Army Surgeon Mitchell noticed something terrifying. Soldiers who had lost arms or legs still felt burning pain in the limbs that no longer existed. The stubborn existence of phantom limb pain shattered the long-held rule that pain must have a physical source. It proves that even when the body itself vanishes, pain can still live on, independent and unyielding, within the intricate circuitry of the brain. Over 100 years later, neurologist Ramachandran encountered a patient who had lost his left hand, but believed he was clenching his hand, causing his pain for over 10 years. An idea struck Ramachandran. He created a simple mirror box and asked the patient to place his healthy hand inside. When he patient looked inside, he saw the reflection of his healthy hand, as if his left hand had returned. At that moment, the patient excitedly exclaimed, My hand is loosened! The excruciating pain that had lasted for over a decade vanished in an instant. Mirror therapy, in an almost playful way, demonstrates that pain stems from a faulty signal in the brain and that this signal can be corrected by the brain itself. At this point, Buddhist insights and modern science have reached a truly remarkable agreement on the essential nature of pain. Pain is a perception, a product of electrical signals between neurons and our deeply subjective experience of the world. Whether it is physical pain or psychological torment, it is manufactured within the brain. Death is the only destination that all humans share. Great and mortal alike, they all face this ultimate test of pain. Even if the methods of death vary, in the final moments of the brain, pain, reluctance, regret, anxiety, and fear permeate our consciousness. It can be said that the end of the brain is often accompanied by a climax of pain. Since the brain is such a powerful pain-generating machine, is there another machine that can help us access the back end of this machine and directly remove or rewrite the pain program? Scientists have been searching for answers. In recent years, we rentered the age of Brain Machine Interfaces BMI. Companies like Neuralink and BrainTiger have implanted electrodes into the brain, decoding its signals. These signals are currently used to interpret simple motor commands, like moving a mouse. Recently, some companies have achieved preliminary interpretation of language signals in the brain. In the future, they will tackle more complex intentions, emotions, and even the feeling of pain itself. However, the current main application of BMI technology is still focused on reading, extracting information from the brain. The real challenge lies in writing. How to safely input signals into the brain to achieve intervention in feelings such as pain. The first attempt at writing in was brutal and direct. In 2005, neuroscientist Helen Mayberg found a brain region called Broadman Area 25 when he studied major depressive disorder. This Broadman Area 25 lights up when patients experience despair, acting like a tireless engine of grief. Mayberg's idea was to implant tiny electrodes into this area for deep brain stimulation. A miracle occurred. A patient suffering from depression suddenly relaxed when the current was turned on. He described the feeling as if the dark cloud in his heart had been lifted. However, when the electrodes were turned off, the dark cloud of despair suddenly fell upon him again. This emotional switch proves that we can indeed directly intervene in the brain and reprogram pain. However, it comes at the cost of craniotomy, which carries risks and is unlikely to be a universal solution. So scientists turn to something gentler. In 1985, physicist Anthony Buck passed a strong current through a coil of wire and carefully placed it over a colleague's scalp. With the click, 
the colleague's left thumb twitched involuntarily without surgery or physical contact. Using only an invisible magnetic field, they had successfully commanded the brain. This is transcranial magnetic stimulation. In 2008, TMS therapy was approved by the FDA for depression. During treatment, patients sit still and a figure eight coil above their scalp generates a strong magnetic field, inducing a weak electric current in the prefrontal cortex, enabling precise regulation. But its magic is limited to the surface of the brain. It is unable to reach structures deep within the brain, such as the amygdala, thalamus, and other structures where pain lives. We need a weapon that is sharper and more precise. This dream has turned into reality by an invisible force. Focused ultrasound. It's like an invisible surgery taking place inside the skull. Scientists invented an ultrasound helmet composed of thousands of tiny probes. They use real-time magnetic resonance imaging. Each ultrasound beam converges precisely on any target point deep within the brain, just like the light. In 2016, this technology was officially approved to treat Parkinson's tremors. Patients lie in the scanner without surgery or anesthesia, just a targeted burst, and the tremor stops. In 2024, experiments at the University of Utah showed that low-intensity focused ultrasound could ease chronic pain and depression in just 40 minutes. From mirrors that trick the brain, to magnets that stimulate it, to sound waves that reshape it, we are gradually gaining the ability to reprogram pain. In the future, scientists envision nanorobots that may be able to cruise through blood vessels like miniature submarines, directly repairing or even replacing neurons. But for now, focused ultrasound is the most promising method to write into the brain due to its precise, non-invasive and safe features. The intersection of technology and humanity is bringing us ever closer to the goal of eliminating pain. Perhaps one day, we'll be able to use a machine to help alleviate or even eliminate pain. Then, pain might no longer be an inescapable fate, but a fantasy that can be understood, controlled, and transcended.